Hey everybody, it's Chris and Des Show. I'm Chris. And I'm Des. And today we're going to do our predictions. I know it's freezing here. It's freezing in here. I'm sorry. I'm going to We're going to do our predictions for the Golden Globe nominations. They come out on February, February 3rd, 3rd, which, which is, is next week. Tuesday? Tuesday, I think, yeah. Tuesday. Okay. And today is Wednesday. The January week prior. 27th. Yes. And Just then for the reference. actual award show is February 28th. It'll be hosted for the fourth time by Tina Fey and Amy Poehler, whom we love. We love, love them so much. They're fantastic. And Jane Fonda is getting the Lifetime Achievement Award, the Cecil B. DeMille Lifetime Achievement Award. So perfect. Great. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, please, uh, Golden Globe people, I know you're watching this. Um, <laughs> please have Lily Tomlin and Dolly Parton oh. do her intro. That's done. done. That's a done <laughs> deal. That has to happen. Because who doesn't want to see Lily Tomlin and Dolly Parton talking about Jane Fonda? No. No person does not want to see that. Done. That's the best. Okay, we just solved that. Wow, okay. we're doing we're, good. We're just solving uh, things. Let's so, right. here's what we think is going to be nominated. We put some asterisks in some places. Like, we thought maybe this person could yeah, get in. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. just, here's the real thing. We're just filling you in. Right now, it is a guessing game for almost everybody. Some of these movies aren't even out yet. Some of them are streaming on Netflix. Some are only in theaters that we can't get to. It's the kookiest year it ever is crazy. when it comes to this. So usually I feel like we have a pulse, like a really good pulse, but yeah. we are we are not as pulsed <laughs> as usual. So here we well, go. Well, because I haven't seen, you've seen more movies than I have, but I haven't seen even some of these. Some yeah. of these so. so we'll talk about it. We're just guessing. Sure. So Hamilton is actually in the running this year for Best Musical or Comedy. It's a musical. Uh, and <laughs> it's on Disney+, Plus, but it won't be nominated for the Oscars. The Oscars have decided that it's... It doesn't qualify? No, because it's a film stage performance. So they're saying, like, no, this doesn't count for us. Oh. Even though okay. some film stage performances have won Oscars, like the Macbeth that Lawrence Olivier did, but whatever. Okay. Um, so, so let's... Best Golden Picture... Clothes. Hamilton. Musical or comedy? We think Hamilton is in. We yes, think everyone sure. likes it. It's Don't easy to like. Uh, the Prom, probably. It's the big musical that came out this year. It is the it's, greatest movie ever made. It's Meryl Streep. But it's Meryl Streep. That's enough. Nicole to Kidman. There's big names in there. Right. Yeah. I, you could just uh, we could stop with Meryl. And Meryl. for the record, Golden Globes likes the big names. They uh, like doing they that. Love the big so names. if it's a movie that has all of those actors in it then it has a good chance of getting nominated right. just so those people will come to the Golden Globes. Right. And the message of that movie is very voter-friendly, yes, too. It's, absolutely. it's inclusive, it's which is good. Good. Yeah. They're both Hamilton, too. Yeah. On the Rocks is we our, other, our next guest, and it is Sofia Coppola, directed and written film starring Bill Murray. Enough said. What, what, what That's one about? I haven't seen, but who doesn't love Bill Murray? He's so good. And Sofia Coppola is a big deal. And Rashida Jones is great in it, too. They're just great. There, there you great. go. Easy. Palm Springs is a comedy starring Andy Samberg. Did you see that one? Yes. Okay, I haven't Again, seen that one either. Super cute. It is really, there's a weirdness to it of like, this is kind of weird. But at the same time, Andy Samberg is super likable in it. And it's. I've heard good things. Ends up about being it. really cute after the weird. So. Okay. That's what I'm saying. As soon as I watch it, then we'll do a review of it and we'll talk yes. about it. And another film that. Oh, I've seen all these movies and Des hasn't seen these bottom three here. And this last one. No. <laughs> No, I, I, I. She can't do it. She I can't. can't. It. He's too mean. The character in and of itself is just too mean, and I can't. I can't. The fact that it's on this list makes me upset. It, it gives me weird. agita. I can't. I can't do him. That whole thing. So our Ugh. our last guest is Borat, the subsequent Ugh. film, and so I watched it, and I I will say this: I didn't watch the first Borat because it also felt like. It's just so hard for me to watch. It's so awkward, I so can't. mean at times. I can't. But I liked it way more than I thought. I will give him that credit. So okay, all right. I think, I think voters will like it too. It's easy to like. I got it, yeah. Um, for actor, we said Sasha Baron Cohen as Borat. He's been nominated before. I think he might, actually, I think he won last time for playing Borat in the first oh, movie. Oh, he did? So I think it's, Ugh. I think it's easy for him to win. Okay. Andy Samberg from Palm Springs. They love him too. He's nominated for Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Love great, him. Great, great, great. Love him. Um, Dev Patel for the David Copperfield movie he did, The History of David Copperfield, which my son and I watched and we could not have loved more. It was I need to watch that so one. So fantastic. And okay. Dev Patel. Oh, I love Dev. It's easy to like. He's great. Um, and then we, oh, sorry, and then Lin-Manuel Miranda, we said again, not that he was the best person in Hamilton, obviously that is John the Groff, Singing. but, yeah. uh, <laughs> but uh, they, he's a big name and they just love the big names. They want people to watch because Lemo Miranda is nominated for a Golden a thing. Globe. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we picked 
Pete Davidson for The King of Staten Island. Um, he's made a lot of really good buzz, and I think he's, I think he's like likable enough for them. Like I'm sure he's doing the circuit and saying hi to everybody and all that kind of stuff. If he's smart, he is. Uh, and so we put our alternate as Leslie Odom Jr. for Hamilton. Hamilton. We think he's going to get nominated somewhere else, and maybe him and Lynn might not both make it in there, but we wouldn't be surprised if he did. There you go. He won That's the Tony. We think. Yes. So absolutely perfect. And he's great. He's great. Oh, he's amazing. Uh, actress, Meryl. Meryl. The, if she's it. in a movie, <laughs> she's not in. Then she's on the list. I think she's already been like. I think this would be like if she got nominated her twenty fourth nomination. Twenty. It's something. It's a insane sure. Like that it's a sure thing. thing. And she's great in the prompt. She's. She is. So great. Um, and then Maria from what's her last name? Ba- I don't Bakula, know. Ba- Bakula, it's the from, Borat. From Borat, they put her in lead for the Golden Globes. And she's been winning Best Supporting Actress in like almost every film festival thing. Uh, and all the critics are like, yes. And I get it. I almost thought like she must really be like that. There's no way she can <laughs> act that good. So you get it if you see, if you know who, that she's a really like nice, very like attractive young lady who's a really you know, just easy going person. And you see her in that movie, you're like, oh, that is a transformation for sure. Oh. So she's very, very good. I will, I, I, I liked her a lot. Okay. Um, Rashida Jones for All the Rocks. I like Rashida. And, um, oh, what's Anya's last name? She's in The Queen's Gambit, which she is also going to get nominated for and probably win because she's amazing. <laughs> well, she's uh, great in that. But yeah. this is I've her, seen that one. That, this is her in Emma, which we saw before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. quarantine. That's how long ago That's it was. That's how long ago. <laughs> Can you remember that back in the day? Uh, um, I think I, I remember liking that movie. It was really good. Yeah. Anya Taylor Joy. There you go. Actually, she's might. She, they might like her. It depends how much. If they might like her so much that I could see that being like an alternate, maybe here, Emma in the comedy picture. Oh. It's just a long time ago. It was a while, yeah. Um, and a lot has happened between then and now. That's we're like uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, and then Kristen, I'm looking at her name right now. Uh, Miliati. Miliati from Palm Springs as well, too. She's super cute. Her and Andy Samberg has this really good chemistry. That's part of what makes the movie likable. I love her. Um, yeah, she's a Broadway girl. Yeah, she's a Broadway girl. She starred in uh, the production of Once, which was about uh, this guy. This, it's just a love story, and it's great. And it's all, the, all the uh, musicians are on stage, and it's a live band, and it's all it's so well done. I love that play. She's musical. She doesn't musical. sing in this movie, but she can sing. And she can play the piano. Uh, and we have an alternate of Michelle Pfeiffer for The French Exit. First of all, I don't, I know people are talking about her, and they obviously, Michelle Pfeiffer's a name. Like, she's a name. For we know sure. that. But this movie is getting, like, almost no traction, I feel like. Yeah. Even on, like, for supporting actress, oh, no, for actress in the Oscars, she's just diving down. I just feel like Michelle has been trying for the last few years to be nominated and to be in this and she's just not getting the right Right. movies. She's just not getting the right movies. And we haven't seen it. Getting her there. We don't even know how to see it. Yeah, there's no way to see it. Um, But (laughs) Michelle's likable, obviously, in general. Um, But I don't know if this is her. Maybe she will. Maybe she's a big enough name. I feel a similar way about Glenn Close. Yeah, poor Glenn. (laughs) I know, right? That they're they're at this time where, like, if we're gonna get uh, nominated, if we're gonna yeah. get something, now is the time, right. and it's just not happening. I think. Well, we'll get to that. We'll get okay. to that. We'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. So let's do drama now. Okay. Picture these. I will say no. No Madland, tra- Trial of Chicago Seven, and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I think they're a lock for this. I think they're a lock for the Oscars as well too. It's hard not to say like. Watch those movies and be like, yeah. wow. We haven't seen No Man I Land yet. I haven't seen No Man Land, but the uh, other two we have. But Trial of Chicago 7 is excellent. It's so really good. good. It's uh, really good. Full of everyone you like. And Ma Rainey's Black Bottom is Chadwick Boseman's last film, so. And it's so good. And he is. Listen. Viola. Stop. And Viola. Well, right. The whole cast. Another yeah. cast no, that is it's fantastic. So good. One Night in Miami, Regina King um, directed, and it is about like these four huge, like, African Americans who come together, like Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X and Sam Cooke and the football shoot. player. Oh yeah, what's his name? I forget. Oh shoot, sorry about that. I don't know. Um, but 
It's really well done. I thought the guy who played um, Malcolm X was really good. I thought all four of them were so good. Yeah. Malcolm X and the guy who played um, oh, Muhammad. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I agree. I totally agree. And then you get Leslie Odom Jr. in there singing. Singing Sam Cooke and songs. And what? What? Hello? What do you got? Nothing. And also. So good. I dare you not to like Regina King. She's so <laughs> likable. Well, because she's, she's so just, likable. She's quality. She's a quality uh, lady. And she can mm. act her face off. First of all. <laughs> she has an Oscar already, right? She can act her face off. But and also, she does a really good job directing. It's very oh. intimate, like in this room. She's she's, she's just great. Just we like her. Everybody notch. likes her. She's just top notch. And we think. We think Promising Young Woman. We think people are going to watch that and be like, oh, I kind of liked that more than I thought I did. I liked it. I did too. I it did too. was scary and it was suspenseful, but. I Everyone's don't know, talking about Mank for Best Picture, uh, but we just can't get behind it because it's can't. nothing. Ugh. We like Promising Young Woman better. Yeah. We did. I think, I think, I would give the actors in Mank something. Yeah, yeah. If, if you have to. But not especially. the movie. I don't think the movie. Yeah, it's not, it's just not the best thing ever. Yeah. Um, and then, for best actor in drama, Chadwick Boseman from All Rain's Black Bottom. Easy, lock. Lock. If he doesn't get nominated. He might win. I think he has a good chance. I think he's, yeah. Anthony Hopkins for The Father. First of all, he's Anthony Hopkins. I haven't seen that one. And then I, he does have, I think, with dementia right in it. Mm-hmm. He's, he's That's good. part of why I haven't seen that movie yet. Is it out to Too be hard. seen? I don't think it is yet, actually. Oh, yet. well then, good. Because there's part of me is like, I don't know if I could sit through a movie about That's that. That's also what Supernova is about, which everyone says Stanley Tucci might get nominated for at the Oscars. It's Even the trailer I watched, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Oh, I don't no. know if I could do it. Uh, and then Riz oh, for that. Sound of Metal. Ooh, I'm rooting for Watch Sound of Metal if you haven't watched it yet. Oh, First of all, it should so be good. here. It really should be here. Yeah. It's so good. I think it's just good. not enough talks yet. But he is whoa. so good in that movie. He's so good. Let's go for it. Yeah. Um, Delroy Lindo for The Five Bloods. He also is fantastic. Absolutely. For sure. Fantastic. And then we think probably Gary Oldman will get a nomination I for guess. playing Mank. I think so. Yeah. If not, Tom Hanks for News of the World. Because it's Tom Hanks. I haven't Hanks. seen that one, so I don't know. Remember when... But he's Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. And Golden Globes, have we mentioned, love big stars. And he's so nice and likable. <laughs> right. I, sure. I dare you not to like you Tom Hanks. You, you can't not like Tom Hanks. Uh, and then actress, Viola Davis, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. For sure. It should be a lot. Frances McDormand. They for love Nomad Frances Land. McDormand. Locke, two-time Oscar winner. Let's be real, right? Again, um, haven't seen that movie, but for sure. Carrie Mulligan for Promising Young Woman. She should be nominated. Yes, she was great in that movie. That girl is a good actress. Absolutely. Uh, Vanessa Kirby for Pieces of a Woman. I haven't um, seen that one. I haven't seen it either, but I love Vanessa Kirby <laughs> so much. Okay. Uh, if you've ever seen The Crown, she's Princess Margaret on the first two oh, seasons of yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. fantastic. She is great. Um, and that is a movie about her like losing her child, and I didn't realize. I thought it was like she miscarried, but don't tell me that she the baby dies like while she's giving birth, ah. and it's a trial about the, like the midwife who was supposed to be helping her. Did she make mistakes? All like oh. That's how you went on Oscar. That's gonna be a hard um, movie. It's gonna be, yeah, let's watch that with all the dementia movies and we'll have a fun night of movie watching. Oh! No. Um, so and then you said Sophia Loren. Um, I think they just for Life Ahead, which is on you can watch Netflix. She's Sophia Loren. And, I haven't seen the movie, but and she plays like this old Jewish woman who takes in this young black kid who is a troubled youth, and then they grow up to be best friends. Like, come on. I, I'm in for that. Right, movie. No, come on. Yes. Come on about it. Let's do uh, that. How can you not? How can you not? Right. And then if not, maybe Zendaya for uh, the new Malcolm and Me. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Malcolm and Oh. oh I forgot the name of it. I'm sorry about that. Eddie? Malcolm and Eddie? No. Malcolm and Me. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm and Eddie. I like that though. Um, not Euphoria. Pause. Pause. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we can't ever see. It. Oh, it's probably not. Malcolm and Marie. Marie. Not Malcolm and me. Okay. It rhymes with Marie. Yes. But we didn't get it. Um, because she's really hot right now. And she's like, she just won her Emmy, right? She beat like Jennifer Aniston and a bunch well, of people. But she's really good. She's in general, good. I like her. I think she's really likable too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I haven't seen that movie either. But oh. I want to. Okay. Director. Director. Chloe Zhao for Nomadland. Land. I think she's going to win the Oscar actually. Yeah. She'd only be the second woman to ever win. They should, if she gets nominated. I'm, again, Oscar people. If she gets nominated, they should have, um, oh, my brain. I don't know. 
Hold, hold, hold. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves for a second. <laughs> uh, introducer, you mean? Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't know who, I am not connected to her. Who should she be connected to? Catherine Bigelow. I don't know why I can think of Catherine Bigelow's name. Because oh. she's the only other woman who has, oh, oh, who oh. has won. Especially if it's her and Regina King nominated and there's a good chance another yeah. woman would be in there. Like yeah. Barbara Streisand gave Catherine Bigelow yeah, yeah. hers because Barbara had been very vocal for a long time that no women had won Best Director and then... Good. Correct. Um, Correct. So then Correct. after that we have Regina King for One Night in Miami. We talked about how much we love her. She should be nominated. Aaron Sorkin, who could also get nominated for Best Screenplay, that guy can write a movie or a show like nobody's business. He, he wrote Trial of the Chicago Seven. 7, number two, right here. Yeah. And it's the the it is so good pacing. It's that's so smart. good pacing. A lot of that's his writing, but he also does a good job directing. Yeah, that's um, no, great. Spike Lee for *The Five Bloods*. It's a well-directed movie, and it's flashback and real time and yeah. all this stuff. Yeah. And it's Spike Lee. It's Spike Lee. What, that's what Another big name. That's what I'm and then David Fincher for *Mank*, which would be if we're right, and he doesn't get nominated for Best Picture, but it does get nominated for Best Director. That's kind of that would be a name thing. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So we'll see. And you know what? Maybe it's a surprise, and it's like. Maybe it's Sofia Coppola for Palm Springs or something. Or maybe it's Borat. <laughs> no! <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't sorry. handle Borat getting all this attention, you guys. It's too much. This can't take I it. I can't. Uh, I, I can't like our society liking it. <laughs> Why? I can't. Oh, uh, it's so mean. I just uh, don't think it's funny. I just don't. I just don't think it's funny. But... It's I, okay. You can. You're allowed to. And I liked Go it more ahead. than I thought. So I'm... Ugh, I can't do it. Uh, so then we have supporting actor. Leslie Odom Jr. for One Night in Miami plays I'll Sam Cooke. Him, yes. He does a really good job. Um, Sasha Baron Cohen for Trial of Chicago 7. Yes. Yes. Take it for that. Not for Borat. Bill Murray for On the Rocks because... He's Bill Murray. And he's like the most likable guy in the world. He does a great job. I want to see that movie. It's so... It's really good. Okay. Paul Rachi, I think is how you say his name, for Sound of Metal. He's like the guy who runs the home there that he goes to. So Excellent. Good. So Excellent. Good. Excellent. Um, and Daniel Kaluuya, Kaluuya. for um, Judas and the Black Priest. Which I haven't seen that one yet either. Um, but I but love yeah, Daniel Kaluuya. Yeah, he's great. And he looks so intense in this movie. Mm -hmm. He's good at the intense. Okay. Remember Get Out? Uh, <laughs> and then, if not, maybe Mark Rylance for... Trial Chicago, Chicago 7, 7 could fit in here somewhere as well, too. Maybe he bumps one of these two guys out. I don't know about that. Or maybe he even bumps out Bill Murray, but it's Bill Murray, so. Supporting actress, Amanda Seyfried, Seyfried for, Mank. for Mank. She's, like we said before in our review, probably the best part about that movie. Yeah, so she, she is, for sure. Let's give her some attention. attention. Yes. Olivia Coleman, whom everyone loves because she gives Olivia the best Coleman. speeches in the whole entire world. You want her to win always because she's hilarious she up there. She is so cute. Uh, for The Father with Anthony Hopkins. Oh, yeah, that's that one. Okay. Um, Ellen Bernstein for Pieces of a Woman with what Vanessa Kirby's into. Okay. She's also Ellen Bernstein, so she's also an Oscar winner and everyone Great. loves her. Great. Glenn Close. The literally, bridesmaid. Literally the bridesmaid of the Oscars. <laughs> Never the bride. Um, for Hillbilly Elegy, and she's fantastic in it. She really she is. Really is. She really she's is. great in it. Did she win the Golden Globe last year and not win the Oscar? Yes. That's what I'm remembering. Okay. Well, Olivia won also for comedy, because the, oh, the okay. favorite was in comedy. Yeah, they both, so they both won, won at the Golden it, Globe, and then Olivia won at the Oscars. And see, I, you can go back to our that other tapes. That might happen again. <laughs> and see this, I said, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Glenn's, speech was very like regal and dignified people like that really helped her odds I'm like no 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 that I think sense. Olivia's speech helped her odds she was so fun and relaxed mm -hmm. and then she gave maybe one of the best Oscar acceptance she, speeches oh, ever awesome. she was so funny yes um, and then you Jung Jung you Young Young I think it's him yeah. um, for Minari which is our only one up here we haven't seen Minari but I'm hearing great things mm -hmm. I heard it's really good yeah it's on so all I the want, I really want to see it lists and stuff, so. I think it gets I think it'll have more Oscar nominations than Globe nominations. Um, yeah. And maybe they'll put it in the, I don't know if it's up for foreign language film or not. I don't know. I don't either. I, it's such a weird year. <laughs> Who knows what's up for what? Um, yeah. So this is what we think. Let us know what you think. What are we right on? What do you disagree with? Did you yeah. Did you like Borat you more than Dez? Um, Anybody just, is gonna <laughs> love it more than me because I can't stand it. Did you like Mank more than us? Did you not like Promising Young Woman? Tell us what you thought of all these things. Just we'd love to know. And go watch day. these movies and uh, and get in a in a place where you have an opinion. Yes, come back and come back and chat with us. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.